a monster from the past, comes back to destroy our world. Here's your look at the new Jack Pacific Godzilla King of the Monsters. This is Rodan. Rodan, an ancient reptilian firebird of prey rising from the molten lava of a volcano to conquer the sky as a furious firestorm of rage. Fly Rodan into battle against Godzilla and unleash the full power of his volcanic monster. My message to the mob is we're going to first figure out how tall Rodan is, and then we're going to check out the figure from there. Now I know I'm going way past the head of Rodan. Where are you going? I'm instead actually going to the tops of its fingers. That, after all, is the highest point on the figure. From its bottom to the very top, you're looking at the figure standing 4.4 inches in height, which in centimeters works out to be 11.1. 11 11.1 centimeters tall. Now, as I did with my review of King Ghidorah, we're going to bring in the smaller version of Rodan so you guys can see the difference between the two. Just in case you know, just in case you didn't know, this was the Rodan that came in packaged with Godzilla. And uh, just for fun, where is that little Godzilla? Just so you guys can see. I don't think that... I don't know, it might actually be. Like, Rodan's a pretty big creature in the film. I don't think, obviously, that's the proper scale, but it might be. Maybe Godzilla should be a little bit taller than that. But uh, that is the Godzilla came packaged with this guy. I'm making a lot of sound effects in this review. Uh, these are the two figures that were packaged together. You can see how much bigger Rodan is compared to those two smaller figures. And of course, what kind of reviewer would I be if I didn't also compare it to the very impressive King Ghidorah, which we've already had a look at on this channel as well. I'll just put King Ghidorah in the background here and put Rodan in the foreground so you guys can see the difference between the two. Yeah, there's a considerable size difference, as it probably should be the case, uh, of the two monsters, one in front of the other. I like these much bigger monsters because, again, for displaying them, specifically more I'm talking to King Ghidorah there, I could display this one on the shelf, whereas the smaller ones kind of more and more relegated to something I would want to keep in the skies. Speaking of skies, much like King Ghidorah came in package with a bomber, there you go, silk bomber, uh, it looks like Rodan is actually packaged with an MV-22 Osprey, a twin rotor helicopter used primarily for, like, rescue. And that would certainly be the case. Uh, you would imagine there would probably be many a civilians they are going to try to rescue out from the city in the film as these creatures are going through and destroying everything in sight. Once again, bringing in the stealth bomber, you can see the difference. Do you see the two side by side? Let me just, there you go. Uh, as you can see, there doesn't seem to be any paint on either one of these. I guess I could probably just take a little bit of a silver pen and just color in the rotor blades, maybe. I think usually like, the Ospreys are more of a gray color anyways. I could technically paint everything, but just want to show you, like, even the smallest details, like the side door there, for example, and even, like, the uh, little landing gear, the little wheels are all sculpted in there. It's made of a very soft plastic, but I'm glad that they, you know, I'm really am glad that they include these little pieces. I mean, when I was a kid, I certainly would have been thrilled for the fact of getting these almost larger than life as in my small hands as a child, these larger than life creatures. And I certainly would love these little military vehicles kind of flying around the city. I, I can almost even just play this out right now in my mind, how I would actually go about doing this as a, as a child or as an adult. Um, but again, really neat. I like that they include these. Speaking of neat that they include these, of course, Rodan also comes included with a cityscape. It's not quite the same cityscape. That's a lot of S's. We'll just put Rodan right there. Don't worry, I'm going to go back and talk about this one a little bit. But I just want to bring in the other pieces, the one that came included with King Ghidorah, quickly, quickly building the city. If only it was this quick. Oops, if only it was this quick as I stumble around. If only it was this quick to build back a city. Sometimes in these movies, it seems so quick that these cityscapes are built back together. Um, the King Ghidorah one was done in orange. And not quite the same orange, more almost a yellow color. The ones that came included with the Rodan, again, are made up of sectional pieces. 
I like again that you come with these little cityscapes. Would have been thrilled if they were also all the same color, but I mean again, you know, they really want to market bright colorful cities, bright colorful accessories to go along with these monsters. Now these are sectional, as you can see. There's one part of the city, there's another part of the city, and once again, I don't know why I'm so happy with these. The smaller pe the smaller components of the city, I like that there's actually a ground base to it, something that you can add on to. Growing up, certainly, there were destructive buildings, things that could dismantle, things that you could put back together, but they never seemed this easy. It almost seemed that often at times like it was almost two halves that you almost had to stack together, holding everything as much as you could with your smaller digits, and then putting the other piece on there just to kind of keep everything together. Here, I mean, I'm not going to obviously shake this too much, but it's just to convey the idea that like the city kind of keeps everything together, but the city as a whole keeps itself together. And while the backside is completely hollow, again, I just love the fact that we get ourselves little buildings that you can display the creatures with. Let's have a look at Rodan. Long overdue, time spent, of course, talking about ospreys and talking about cities. There's the smaller version of Rodan. Um, again, a big thank you to Jack Specific for taking the time to send this my way. Uh, these do seem like they are similar mold to one another. I did find unique traits from one Ghidorah to the other, but it almost seems like Rodan possibly could be a smaller version, or in this case, a larger version to its smaller counterpart, and possibly using the same mold elements. Like the hands, the head certainly looks the same. The virtue of adopting like this one, taking this home in a soft safety blanket, say over this one, is the fact again that like, you've got size working in your favor. A big bulkier feeling Rodan, something that's still as exquisitely sculpted, meticulously painted as the one that we had gotten before. Smaller scale, again, that one being right there. It like even looks like the hinge joints are in the same place. The benefit of these ones, the larger one that is, is much like the King Ghidorah, I feel like the joints are a little stiffer on Rodan here, on his giant wings. Just love the look of these. These almost kind of even look like, looking at the one that I had looked at before, and trying my best to kind of describe what this looks like, I initially I think I might have even said it looked like tree bark, but actually it kind of reminds me of like fungus that grows on the sides of trees. Those kind of little scaled mushrooms that kind of cascade down the sides of trees. Meticulously, again, sculpted this additional wash of darker brown, almost a black that they've added over top of it. I mean, you really see a lot of these elements of the mold just just popping and making this feel alive in your hands. Yes, I should get into marketing. The head sculpt, there's the head sculpt right there. You can see even they've painted in the pupil, which I think actually, let me just look at the other one again. The smaller one, uh, unfortunately, was not afforded a pupil. It was actually just awarded instead a yellow eye. This one got the silver, it also got the gold, and a pupil has been given to Rodan's head sculpt. Again, a really nice looking head sculpt on these guys. Now he does have some posability, the same as before it seems. The head rotates all the way around. The legs hinge back and forth. Kind of neat to have this even in a, a suspended over the, uh, the, the room, kind of like from a ceiling, just suspending it maybe from some fishing line. You really would have this neat effect of having Rodan sort of swooping in. Ooh, I just love the look of that. But its legs do hinge back and forth. They don't hinge out or anything like that. These feel like they are of a softer plastic variety. And of course it has the hinges back and forth on the wings. So you sort of can have it even in the sense that it's sort of, again, swooping down. Or as a bird of prey goes, you can bring the wings back almost to more of a gliding stance. And uh, until we see the movie, Super thrilled for the release of Godzilla King of the Monsters. It's been long overdue for a true Godzilla awesome film. Even though like the last one wasn't so bad, but just too heavily military influenced. So much time spent on human characters. We want to see Godzilla. But it really feels like the new Godzilla King of the Monsters is going to give you exactly what the title says. Godzilla Monsters. King is also kind of just wedged in there as well. But again, really loving the look of Rodan. 
Uh, we bring in once again the cityscape. And again, if you wanted to, you could bring in a couple of cityscapes. Uh, enough of these monsters, certainly. You, Godzilla may not be the only king of the monsters. You may also be awarded that title by the rest of the kids in your neighborhood. Uh, when all of these hit store shelves on April 1st, 2019. Sometimes I don't feel like companies justify the reasonings for releasing small figures and larger figures that look very similar to one another. Superheroes being the case. But when it comes to creatures, monsters, and specifically the world of Godzilla, I love for the fact that Jack Specific are releasing different versions. So if you are wanting to get smaller, almost pocket-sized renditions of these monsters, you can get the two packs that come included with a Godzilla and a monster of your choice, depending on which one you pick up. But then there's these ones, the larger, meteor-sized creatures, which again, look great on the shelf. Rodan and uh, King Ghidorah will sit very proudly on my display shelf. And again, I really do like the I really do love these. They got some great detailing, some exquisite paint, and I also like the fact that we get ourselves smaller cityscapes. The only begging question is where am I gonna put the smaller flying vehicles? The Osprey, for example, that came included with Rodan. I could probably, again, find the means to suspend that via some fishing line, and maybe I'll try to have that displayed over top of Rodan's head. Either way, though, official Godzilla release date on these uh, is April 1st, 2019. A big thank you, by the way, to Jack Pacific for sending over all the samples that you guys have been seeing in these reviews. If you guys, again, are interested in picking up any of the new Godzilla King of the Monsters toys, they should be on store shelves right now. The official, again, launch date of Godzilla Day, we can mark that on the calendar. Godzilla Day is April 1st. It's not April Fool's. It's not an April Fool's joke. Godzilla King of the Monsters, Toy Shelves, April 1st, 2019. Today we were looking at the larger scale. This was Rodan, came included with a building or multiple buildings and also included a smaller Osprey as well. Pretty cool. If you guys wanna go back and have a look at some of my other Godzilla King of the Monster reviews, you should be able to easily find them as I've certainly put them all together on a playlist for your viewing pleasure. And if you are into, like I am, Godzilla King of the Monsters, some good news, my friends, colleagues, and the mob, some future Godzilla King of the Monsters reviews will be coming soon to this channel. FYI. That's for your information, by the way. There's also a store, I believe, called FYI. There you go. Anyways, as always, guys, thanks for watching, as you always do. If you haven't done so already, make sure as well, hit that little subscribe button down below, and I'll see you guys next time.